powered by Pipe TV. Welcome back. You are watching On the Move with Miss Tony. And of course, I am your host, Miss Tony. Today's topic I am so super excited about because it's going to be all about feet. Did you know our feet are home to about a quarter of all bones in our bodies? That's 52 total or 26 per foot with 33 joints, 107 ligaments, 19 muscles, and multiple tendons that hold the structure together to allow for it to move in a variety of ways. There are approximately 250,000 sweat glands in a pair of feet, and they excrete as much as half a pint of moisture each day. 75% of Americans will experience foot health problems of varying degrees of severity at one time or another in their lives. About 19% of US population has an average of 1.4 foot problems each year. They can include foot infections, including 5% with athlete's foot, other fungal infections and warts, ingrown toenails or toenail problems in general, corns or calluses, foot injuries, bunions, flat feet, or fallen arches. Your feet can mirror your general health. Such conditions as arthritis, diabetes, nerve and circulatory disorders can show their initial symptoms in the feet. And let's not mention our toenails, but let's mention the toenails. They do get thicker as we age. It's normal. It's gross, but it will happen to you. Changes in your toenails may be a sign of an underlying condition. Left untreated, toenails can become painful. Fungal infections can be difficult to cure and may require months of treatment. Other symptoms of nail fungus can include toenails that change in color to yellow, brown, or green, a foul odor that comes from the toenail, Toenails that can lift up from the nail bed. Toenails that split or crumble. Toenails that look scaly or chalky. Toenails with dirt and other debris under them. Your toes are very susceptible to fungal infection from frequently prolonged exposure to water, shoes that constrict your feet, sweaty feet and shoes, damage to toenails athlete's foot that spread to your toenails or maybe pre-existing medical conditions. Program examines podiatric medical conditions and the procedures involved with treating them. Due to their graphic nature, viewer discretion is advised. No, 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 no. My feet are so funky and disgusting from dance. I've got bunions. It's, I do not like feet. I need Why? to be on this show. Cause I need Doc to fix my feet too, man. Help me out. Baby, you have, what are you talking about? Your feet are perfect. Yeah, I guess. I mean like, not like perfect, perfect, but they're not bad. Let's take notes. Yeah. In the episode, we met Robert, who'd been keeping more than just his bad feet secret. I've been a nudist for about 20 years now. Oh <laughs> no. Just sort of a free casual. I'm not against it. Put some clothes on, boo. That don't look like feet. And I do nude beaches. Ah. No! What's a nudist got to do with his feet? Toenail fungus, my big toe, the nail has fell off a couple times. 
God. I'm not watching the show. I think of the foot massages Dr. Brad must be able to give. Baby, take it easy. Well, I've been a nudist for about 20 years. You've been what? A nudist. A nudist. Okay, yes. all right. Just walk around free as a bird. Free as a bird. Yeah. <laughs> what? Okay. That's oh, nothing. It's just a toe. No, it's not. <laughs> it's fungi. Oh! oh okay. <laughs> that. Shaq's feet look better than that, bro. It looks like my big oh my God, toe right here. The one growing in there. This looks like the one that I couldn't cut the other day for the pain. Leak, leak, leak. They're a little yellow. They're brittle. All right. So they're kind of falling off and flaking off in yeah. certain spots. Bubbly and brittle. Um, almost like potato chips. Come on, man. Potato chips. I like potato chips. I've seen potato chips that look worse, if that's what you mean. Maybe. <laughs> I've never eaten potato chips again. Whew. What we're going to do is remove this toenail because okay. it's too far gone at this point. Mm -mm, not today, Satan. Not today. Mm -mm. I prefer pimples. I like toes. I want to get in there. I want to get it. I want my tools. I got my tools upstairs in my cabinet. And I want to dig and I want to get all the cuticles and the hangnails. I'm just going to numb up this toe because right. that's the only one we're taking off right now. Yeah. Okay? I'm going to get a little pinch here. One, two, three, pinch. So the first step in treatment is we're going to remove that really unsightly toenail on his left foot, his big toenail. Now we're just going to free up the nail. Oh, no. Oh. 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 No. No. Oh. No, it's making me sick. You wanted to get up in there. <laughs> He's getting up in there. Now we're just going to lift it off. It might come off in pieces just because of how fungal it is. No, catch me outside. Oh my God. Okay. Catch me outside. Oh my God. And that now it's nice and clean. That nail is completely removed. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. No. No. My visit with Dr. Brad today went great. I feel a lot more confident about my new toes. It does look a hell of a lot better. If his toenails come back looking pure, I'm going to see this doctor. Your toes look good. You have like Flintstone feet. Your weird, like, look. slanted toe. <laughs> Your feet are killing me. <laughs> You may never look at feet the same way again. Still, help me welcome my very special guest, Hollywood Award winner for Best New Cast, Robert Shearn III. Welcome, hey. Robert. Hey. hey. How are you, Robert? I'm good. Thanks for having me. Look, how are your feet? <laughs> my feet are great. Great. Dr. Oh. Brad took care of them very well. Very good. And we're going to talk more about that because everybody wants to know how did he get on that show? But as I do with most of my guests first, I want everybody to know who the young Robert was. Where are you from? I'm originally from North Jersey, um, Patterson, New Jersey. I was born and raised there. And then later on, I went to high school in South Jersey. Oh. Burlington County area. Okay. Yeah. Well, who were you as a kid, though? I mean, were are you somebody into fashion? I mean, who were who was little Robert? Well, I always been into fashion since I was little. Ever since I was buying my own clothes, I started when I was about like in maybe fifth grade, sixth grade. I was shopping and buying my own clothes, and always had that entrepreneur spirit you know, as a, as a young boy, uh -huh. but, I, but when I, when I was younger, I was, um, more shy. Matter of fact, in high school, I got class shyest what? in high school when I graduated. That's what they gave me. Cause I, I really stayed to myself. I didn't really talk to, um, you know, many people and stuff like that. So, you know, I, I, 
that, there you that, go. That, but. I'm sorry, but that's something that I cannot believe because you are definitely an actor. <laughs> You've done lots yeah. of cameos here and there. How did you progress to come into saying, this is my niche. I need to be on TV. This is all about me right now. How did you get there? Um, well, everything started when I um, started modeling as a figure model nude. What? That's when it all started. Yeah. Yes. Yes. You bet. You need. You know. You need to elaborate that. How did you? How did you go in that direction to be a nude model? Um. Well, I've always been an artist. Okay. My whole life since high school, I've been into all forms of art, like you know, drawing, painting. Oh. Then, oh. um, yeah, I went to school for drafting and design. So, um, you know, as being employed. I was drawing, you know, and, and doing drafting and stuff like that and computer-aided drafting. Oh. So then later, you know, I went into graphic design. I started my own clothing company and I was doing um, designs on clothes. So, um, you know, I just always wanted to stay in the art field. Oh. So um, it came up, somebody I knew was modeling nude. Okay. And um, who was also a nudist. And so it was just something that I had an interest in. And then I wanted to reconnect also with other artists. So I started modeling for art schools, art students, and artists. So I was back in, you know, around artists again. And I was doing modeling as well as nude modeling. Some of them were costume modeling too. So we had to put together like, you know, a scene and I would have like dressed up like as whatever the scene was uh -huh. and then you know it was more nude modeling though but I, like i said some of it was costume too right and actually, it was just was, go ahead go ahead finish uh, it was it was for the craft it was for the craft the art i got you i got you on that because i went to school of performing arts i'm actually a musician and a dancer okay. so i know about the artsy things you know like you can't get away from it <laughs> it always seems yeah. to draw you back but I know um, in your bio that you sent me, you mentioned definitely and on the show, which we're going to get to, guys. Hold on. Right. Um, you said, I'm a nudist. So how did you all of a sudden, like, just go and gear yourself towards being just a nudist? So, okay. 20 um, something years ago, it started because I met this woman mm. who was older than me. And she was a black woman and she was a nudist. So um, I got an interest in it because of her. And I never got to explore it with her because we went on our separate ways. Okay. But then I still had that interest and I still wanted to do it. So I formed a group of my own. Ah. And um there you go. So I started meeting other people that had an interest in nudism also, but right. they weren't experienced. None of us were experienced. So you None all worked together. <laughs> yeah, we just wanted to do it. They were right. afraid. Everybody was afraid because, you know, they never was so nude. Do it together, before. then you could get over it. Yeah, so, um, so then I remember the first event I put together or invited everybody to. Nobody wanted to go. They said, well, since you're the leader, you go first and come back and tell us all about okay. it. <laughs> so that's what I did. I went to the event, which was a spa party. Nice. It was a spa party. So what it entailed was um, nudists that met. It was a gym. So you could work out in the gym naked. You could wow. swim naked. There was a um, a sauna, oh, and then right. there was food. So you could do all that stuff new. You could work out and all that kind of stuff like that. Freedom, and, you know, huh? It was the freedom about the freedom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's wow. what it is. The freedom. So Are then, you, you know, doing that now, Robert? Are you still? Do you still consider yourself? I'm all. I'm. I'm always a nudist. <laughs> like, always. Go it's it's my life. It's my life. 
So I went back and I told the group about it. And then there was like, oh, okay. So we'll go to the next meeting. Uh So the next, it, it, it was once a month. So then the next month, they all met me. Whoever was interested in going and got over the fear. Like some of them, I had to really talk them into it. They want, it's like, I want to do what I want, but I'm afraid, I'm afraid, Uh you know, but I had to talk some of them into it. And then, you know, they started coming out and then they met me there and we would just have fun in the pool, eating, working out. And you still do now, right, Robert? You still have um, events? You still have your events? Huh? No, oh, no, I don't have events anymore for me. No, I don't I don't have the group anymore. I oh, dissolved the group a long time ago <laughs> because it's a lot of work. The group is you. a lot of work and people were going their separate ways and you I know. Got you, I got you. Yeah. So well, no, I I'm still a nudist, but I just don't have the group. I got you. I yeah. got you. But look, guys, there is so much more to Robert um that you guys have to meet. He has a, this personality. He has so much going on. So um, when we come back, we're going to talk about to see if you had um, any, any like obstacles. Um, We're also going to go through your highlights, your career highlights, and how you got into the show. My feet are killing me. All right. Okay. 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 So stay tuned, everybody. Stay right there, Robert. Don't go no place. And we'll be right back with more Robert Sherm III. Okay. Hi, I'm Anita Marie Sparrick. Be sure to follow me on social media, Facebook, Anita Marie Sparrick, or Instagram, Face by Sparrick. And be sure to follow and shop online, www.maxandsebisoaps.com. And I am on the move with Ms. Tony. Welcome back, welcome back. Yes, I have my very special guest here, Robert Shern the third here. Um, we were chatting it up a little earlier and we're going to continue because Robert, very interesting person. I mean, we were talking a little behind the scenes right there. You know, I was telling you how, how I love your personality and, and yeah. that you, I, I find you very interesting, you know, and I can yeah. talk to you. Yeah, and he, that's what he said too. Really? Not too many people think so. <laughs> well, I said not quiet. too many. I said not too many black people think that. Yes, keep it real. Keep it real. Yeah, keep it real, Robert. Absolutely. (laughs) But look, during all this time, you know, as you're growing up, as you, you know, start doing your your arts, you know, being artistic and whatnot, I'm quite sure somewhere along the lines, you may had some obstacles, or did you not? I mean, tell me. Um, obstacles in life, or obstacles on a journey of my career with acting and modeling on the journey of your career because right now your career is starting to take off you know um, it's starting to build so those obstacles in the very beginning did you have any um well there's always obstacles because it goes up and down and fluctuates you know you never know when you're coming or you're going and you know um it's no it's never easy and there's so many times that I do want to stop but I think it's the fans that keep me going and their comments and stuff like that. The fans all over the world, you know, when I see that, it's like, well, how can I stop? You know? So that's what keeps me going. It's the fans. But I mean, it happens all the time. It's constantly where you're just like, that's it. I'm not doing this no more. I'm done. But like I said, those fans, when they have their comments and they're all over the world and there's a lot of beautiful fans out there, and it, you know, it just touches me. It, it does. does. It does. I, I understand that wholeheartedly. Yes. Now, with your career, you've done a lot of um, cameos. What are some things that you've actually um, was shown in? Something. Well, I started out with the movie Limitless with Bradley Cooper. I know that one. So um, okay. I'm in the club scene dancing right next to. Bradley Cooper in that movie. We will find um, and and that's where it started. So I mean that movie, you can see that movie like anytime. I mean, it's still out there. It's gonna always that's be a movie. Up that's there. a fabulous movie, by the way. I loved it. Oh, you I, saw it? I did. I did. I, okay. I wasn't, well, I wasn't looking for you, but now I'm gonna go well, back again and look for you. Well, yeah, yeah. Well, see, I had corn rolls then. 
So corn rolls to the back and I had glasses on. So I'm dancing right next to him in the club scene. I'm okay. right next to him. All right. And what else yeah. have you been doing? What was that? What else have you been doing? Um, I've also been on TV One mm -hmm. for, for My Man, which is a hit show. It's a crime series. And that's still, it comes on right now. It's still coming. I think it's going on its seventh season right now. Oh, okay. So yeah, um, that show was doing good. I was in season two. Okay. So I was way in the beginning as a cop mm. in that okay. show. I got to look at that too and check that out. Then um, I'm also in a TV show on TV one called Thou Shalt Not. That was only out for one season, but I was also a cop in that. Okay. Yeah. And of course, we, you know, we're here to talk about your most infamous uh, uh, show ever. My feet are killing me. How did you get onto that? <laughs> well, um, the show was looking for people that had um, issues with their feet that were drastic. I mean, so, I mean, it wasn't like little, you know, scratches on your feet or whatever. They wanted things that were major issues that were drastic and basically different. So um, I was having issues going out with my feet. At the time I was having a bad fungal infection going on. And I also have webbed toes. So, um, you I know, <laughs> huh? I said they didn't show all that, the webbed toes. Oh, oh yeah, I did mention it in the actual show, My Feet Are Killing Me. I did mention it, um, but, um, it wasn't highlighted. It right. wasn't highlighted because there was another patient that had them as well, and hers were highlighted specifically for that. See, because she wanted hers operated on, and see, I didn't. I changed my mind because at first I wanted mine operated on, and then when you know when I started talking about it more with the doctor, Doctor Brad, Dr. then Brad. I decided. Yeah. Then I decided, no, I didn't want to do the operation because I figured, well, I'm older and I hadn't had any problems and I didn't want to you want to start anything. New, That's right. Any, That's right. Yeah, any new issues. So I said, let me leave this alone, that part. So they still wanted to work with me with my fungus infection, which I didn't think they were because it, it was something going on, but it, it wasn't that drastic like That's the it. other people's were. So I didn't think they were going to use but, me, but they were like, well, but, but Robert, did you even see the reactions of the celebrities when they saw your feet? Did you oh, see yeah. that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Especially of Raven Simone, she had me cracking up. You know, oh, she, yeah. she had my yep. face totally. I mean, really. And I was like, okay, Every, I've, I've seen worse feet than Robert's. <laughs> everybody, loved, everybody loved Raven. Not yes. today, Satan. Not today. <laughs> yeah, everybody loved her. But um, you yeah, see, I didn't know what direction they were gonna go in right. with my feet. I had no idea that they were gonna take me in a direction of the nudist. Uh -huh. I, I had no idea. They didn't tell me it wasn't planned, or or they right. didn't tell me, put it that way. Right. They knew my background now. Right. They knew my background. And then they just took it from there. Yeah. Well, look, we're here to highlight those feet. Okay. So we just want to make sure, Robert, your feet good now? Yeah, they are. Very they good. They are, but I mean, <laughs> I wish I had a picture, but I can't like get them up on this little the look, screen. But look, look guys, we're going to do it behind the scenes. We're going to um, have Robert take a snip snip of his feet so we can show you. The oh, okay. After. Yeah. Okay. I so we're going to do that. But Robert, I want these folks out here to follow you and follow your career because you are starting to expand. And I want to make sure that everybody knows and sees you and knows your name. So please give us your social media. How can they follow you? Um, everything is under my name, Robert Shern III. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, um, and Facebook. I have a Facebook fan page. I'm also on Cameo, Robert Shern III. Follow me on Cameo. Yes. Well, on Cameo, seeing that you said that, Robert, not too long ago, matter of fact, maybe a couple of weeks ago was my birthday. So you did mention that 
if you have a special shout out you want me to say to people or sing them something, well, I want you to sing me happy birthday. Oh, well, <laughs> you got to go to Cameo <laughs> for it. Yeah. Anybody's welcome to go to Cameo for it. Oh, look, see, he's not even going to do it on, on air right now. I feel mm -hmm. some way, Robert. <laughs> <laughs> Like all you can do is laugh, Robin. You funny. <laughs> yeah. Look, guys, Robert is fantastic. Continue to follow him, support his work. And Robert, this is going to be your last set of words. What is some words of wisdom you could give anybody out there on anything? Maybe even about you. What you would like to say to them? Um, I'd say like um. Be comfortable with the uncomfortable. Don't be afraid to take risks and take chances because there's a whole wide world out there and explore it because it's yours. You know, yeah. I forgot, I wanted to show everybody my yes, award. The award. That's the Hollywood Award, guys. Yes, for yes. My Feet Are Killing Me, Best New Cast. And we was nominated against um, Growing Up Hip Hop, which aired with Flavor Flav, yes. Jeru, Run DMC, yes. Run, yeah. And, he was and then out. also it was nominated against um, the Titans, who Dwayne Rock Johnson hosts. Yep. Yep. And, um, you know, I was so surprised that we won for that category. We was also nominated with another category for um, um, guilty pleasure. We didn't win that one, but I was thinking we was gonna win that one. But we won New Castle. I was like, wow, oh, fantastic. it's the legends, the yeah. legends. You know, Run, yeah. to rule. Those are legends. I was like, oh my god. Look, you know, as Robert so and Robert glows in his award, which you well deserve, Robert. Well deserved. Yeah. Keep pushing forward. I'm so proud of you. I also want to say right now, there's a movie out that I'm in called Sucker for Love, and it's free on Tubi. So you can watch it anytime you want to watch it. And um, it I'm stars- i the information up for you. Yes, make sure yeah, you guys, it's, once it's, again, support it's, it's out Robert. right now. Support Robert. Look, Robert, it was a pleasure meeting you. And if anytime okay. this is your platform, anytime you've got something going on, please make sure you call me because you got my number. So call me okay. and say, Tony, I got to, you know, I got to say something and you, you're back on the show, okay? Okay. All right, fantastic. Well, guys, it has been nice. Thank you for tuning in. I want you always to be well and stay safe. I am your girl, Miss Tony, and you are watching On The Move with Miss Tony. See you guys later. Bye.